Or jelly beans. It's like wee hours in the morning. I think it's like six. I'm not sure. I hear everything looking. And I'm just breaking up the meat. So I just wanted to show you guys how it's looking. I'm going to turn this up on high. And yeah, let it continue. Don't with the store. It's done, but still let it go ahead and do some more. Alright guys, I'll catch you when I get back up. Yeah guys, I just wanted you to see. This is, oh, it's uh, 9.30. It's 9.30 in the morning. And it's supposed to be raining all day today. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is how the tables look. The new tables look that we got. Let me put it here. So that's how the table's looking. I oh, need to move this in also. Yeah, guys, so. That's how they look in our little tables. <laughs> we put the other one out there in the hallway. Somebody had grabbed that thing right on up. And let me know if y'all want me to paint them this color. The same gray color as that. Honey, want to leave them this color. I don't want to leave them this color. I want to spray paint them gray. So let me know in the comment sections. Or whether you want to keep, you think we should keep them that color. Or spray paint them gray. Give it some color in here. Alright guys, I'm about to go back to sleep. Hi right, Jelly Beans. As you just saw, it was 9.30 in the morning. I'm telling you, this would have looked like cooking when you had sleep somnia. <laughs> cooking at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Sleep somnia crock pot meal. That's what this is. But, yeah, it's 9 o'clock. I had finally fell asleep. I got a little bit of sleep, guys, but I'm back up. I thought I was going to be able to lay back down just now. And, um, my body is tired, but I cannot go to sleep. So in the meantime, we're going to get a pot of rice started in the rice cooker. Put it in the microwave, and therefore, we have rice for dinner today. So, I'm going to make this um, Jack and the Beanstalk long grain rice. Before Honey went to bed last night, <laughs> he's like, baby, them pig feet and sauerkraut smell good as I don't know what. <laughs> Say, uh huh. I'm gonna make like two and a half. 
upside. It's a good thing we not um going anyway today. So I can uh, go ahead on back to sleep if I get tired later. I can just doze on off and rest. Let me rest this right off, guys. Yep, guys, I know that pig feet and sauerkraut gonna be good. I was thinking about making a little bit of potato salad with it, but I was like, no, I'll make some rice that we can, um, you know, pour over it. Or just to have the rice on the side, however, we want to eat it. But I ain't feel like doing no, um, no potato salad. If I would have made potato salad, then I would have made some greens with it. But being as though this is pig feet with sauerkraut already with the little vegetables. I wish I would have had two bags of sauerkraut, but we only had that one, so. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We had this rice with it. This is our Tuesday dinner. That's how that's gonna go. One and a half cup is equal to three cups of water. So I do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna put um put some salt in here. A little bit of butter. I'm gonna just put this little piece of butter that we had left in here. Just a little mixture. And normally, if I was um, cooking this on top of the stove, like with chicken or something like that, <laughs> sometime I'll cook it in um, like chicken broth or put a, uh, like a beef cube or something in it or season it up, you know, whatever type of season that I want or something. And I'll make my rice like that. But being this though, we have that sauerkraut and pig feet and that's well seasoned and the juices from that is going to go over this. 
or if like I said honey just want to have it on the side then we'll just um, have it like that and that's how this go put this on top I did my one little stir this handle side broke but it's okay because I still use it and pop it in the microwave I can never see. I always go through that. I can never see to know what to put it on on the bag, and I don't feel like getting my glass. Up. I can never see what to put it on from off the bag. I don't feel like want to get my glasses. I forgot how long it say for the microwave, but. Anywho, I'll check it if it needs to go in a few, like an extra minute or so. I put it, I think usually when I put that, that, uh, when I usually put that long, um, grain rice in the microwave, usually I think it has to, I think I usually put it on like five minutes and I usually would have to, um, put it like an extra minute sometimes but then sometimes it's like the extra minute overcook it so maybe once it's done i'll just let it sit and let the steam go ahead and continue to cook it through i don't know we'll see either way we want to eat that rice today <laughs> Lisa's um safe to say dinner is done already. Yeah, see that's why I turned this up on high. Cause I wanted to uh see how it's bubbling. I wanted to uh thicken up some like Look at that jelly beans. You tell me that ain't delicious. I know it's delicious. And I knew them two pig feet would be enough. Because uh, it was four that came in a pack. And I only made us two the last time when I first got them. Because it was two whole ones. I mean four whole ones. So, because usually I get the split kind, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to stop getting that split kind. Let me taste, I want to taste my broth, I want to taste it, period. I most definitely need you. I can't even break it. Oh, there it goes. See how tender that is coming off? <laughs> Y'all saw that. Uh, I'm gonna have to sit y'all down somewhere with me. Yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna stop buying them splits when I get um when I buy pig feet because that's just a waste of money getting the splits, and I could just go ahead and get the the whole pig feet. So yeah, cause man, honey love pig feet, but um we don't eat it all the time. You know, it's often. It's like one of us have to have a taste for it. And normally when one have a taste for it, the other one be having a taste for it too. So. Look at that, guys. Ooh. Mmm. That is good. 
I wish it was a little more sour weed than what it was. And it's probably because the sauerkraut was frozen. That's like how I said I wish I had another bag. Uh, um. Because normally if I had two bags, even though it wasn't already thawed out and it still had the ice in there. But that shouldn't have mattered. But normally if I have like the can or the bag and it thawed out, I pull the juice. Because um, normally I have it thawed all the way out. I'll pull the juice off of one and then put both of them in there. And that usually, you know. But it's good though. It do seem like it need a little bit more. I know this rice ain't done, so I must have had it on three minutes, because I can't really see without my glasses. Let me go and put this on some more. Yeah, that take more than some three minutes. I'm going to add some more um, hot sauce in it to give it that what I'm looking for. Uh, let me turn y'all around so y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to add a little bit more of this uh, Tony's Creole. Not a lot, just like that. Just give it a stir. That looks good, guys. that that's how that looking I wish I would have had another can of sauerkraut up here but I know I ain't got none I'm trying to look up here in this can I know I ain't got no can of sauerkraut I wish I did have another can though I mean had another bag but don't just turn up. Yeah. And we had a taste for chocolate milk. And so I told honey we had that Hershey's. Oh, this is the baking cocoa powder, hundred percent cocoa. This is the bacon, not the what you call. Anyway, if I had a taste for chocolate milk, I still put it in there and blend it up. It should still taste all the same. <laughs> Look at my lemon meringue pie I forgot to share with mama. <laughs> yeah. Safe to say we have to go to the market. Looking a little empty. No, I'm just joking. We got uh things that we need to pick up, but um we had that deep freezer sitting right there. <laughs> Full of food. I want to check this rice, but I don't want to take this top off this thing. Honey, and then knocked out. It's out. I'm gonna leave that rice alone. I'm about to go sit my behind down. And the next time that thing go ding, I'm gonna just let it sit right in here. Alright, guys, it's 10 o'clock. Five after, it's almost five after 10. I'll see y'all later. All right, Jelly Beans, that's everything. Look how it turned out.
I broke, yeah. And I broke them up. Both of them in there. No, some of it fell apart. It's all right, honey. Yeah, so this is how I look, guys. And it just made our plate. I got my rice under here. And yeah. So that's how everything is looking. Because we're still going to go all the way down to the floor once we get our...